to my channel if you're new here please do subscribe down below my name is Adiola and I upload videos about Africa travel and lifestyle so if you're interested in those topics please do subscribe down below today I am I've just arrived in Bulgaria I'm about to explore the city of Sofia which is the capital and I'll show you what that looks like it should be a really really interesting trip i've got a lot of tours booked but today was really a chill day for me so i'll see what there is to do in the city center i'll take you along with me and then we'll check out um the rest of the city at night as well i've got something interesting planned so let's go <laughs> I really didn't do much today because I was really tired. Um, I went to a um, ancient ruin site, which unfortunately is temporarily closed. They've been closed since COVID, um, which is a shame. And then I went to a park and I just walked around the city a little bit. I saw some churches. I didn't go to the big Alexandria church. Um, I'm saving that for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I saw some other little churches and then I had lunch and then um, went to souvenir shopping and then came back and slept. So now I'm off to my pub crawl. I'm very excited. We'll see how it goes and I'll take you along with me. Club after I'm gonna try and make it but girl 
<laughs> your girl's drank. And I'm in pub crawl. It's nearly 4 a.m. I'm gonna try and get some food if possible. If not, just call it a night. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, hi, good morning. Today is day two in Bulgaria, Sofia. I am currently off um, on a walking tour. I'm gonna quickly try and grab breakfast before I go. There's a little opposite me, so hopefully I'll be able to get some food. Um, and then I'll show you what Sofia looks like because you probably haven't seen much. You've just seen um, me walking around the city a little a little bit yesterday and then the pub crawl <laughs> so um, I will try and show you more of the country today and the walking tour will be really good in terms of getting some history some knowledge about the country as well so let's go had lunch and I think I will just end the day today by just going home and chilling preparing for tomorrow because I've got an early morning tour and you'll see where I head off to tomorrow oh, I've just made it in it's such Today hasn't even been a long day. I'm just so exhausted. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, what about else? Cute, I love it. Summer vibes, um, yeah, I'm going to bed. Oh, I need to prep for tomorrow, but the way my body is just done. I think I'll listen to my body and just go to bed. Bye. Yeah. Okay, good morning guys. So 
I've just made it to a place called Rilla Monastery. I'm on a tour. Um, we're going to have a guided tour of the grounds and I'll show you the church as well because it's so stunning. The whole courtyard is stunning so I'll show you what it looks like. <music> in the Boyan church and you would have seen the monastery as well the real monastery which was really good um heading back onto the coach now and we're heading back to uh sophia and yeah i might call it a day i might still go out i'll show you whatever happens but i am really tired hi good morning guys so today i'm off on a walking tour and it's an exciting walking tour because it's actually going to be a food walking tour i'm sweaty because as always uh me and time we like to tussle we like to risk it um but yeah i've made it anyway and i'll show you what we get to eat we'll be trying traditional bulgarian food different ones each day so here we are going to try a cold soup actually that is called tagatog and tagatog is made out of bulgarian yogurt mixed with water filled with chopped cucumbers dill walnuts as well as garlic thank you thank you so the main ingredient inside is the bulgarian yogurt or how we call it here in bulgaria which literally translates into sour milk in english and this is one of the most commonly <laughs> Garafa. As you see, it's a wine shop, but also besides that, it's a wine shop, it's a winery in the northwest region of Bulgaria. And these thick barrels, you have to let the fruits ferment, then you proceed to add. And it's something that is very simple, as you can see, it's just fried dough and oil. But it has a lot of sentimental value to us Bulgarians because every Bulgarian remembers on the Sunday morning the smell of warm makitsa, usually made by our parents. <laughs> it's a traditional Bulga Bulgarian tavern and you can find a lot of those across Bulgaria on the roads, in the villages, in the cities. Uh, so, about the name of the place, uh, the first part is Hejid Gaganovite. <laughs> So I just got done at the Red House, um, it's a, the Red Flat, sorry, it's a really really interesting look into a Soviet house, um, so a former family used to live here um, during the communist regime and you just get to walk through the different house, it's very interactive, you get to touch a lot of their things um, and hear the stories through the headphones as well. Um, so it started raining, I'll probably head back to my accommodation now and we'll check in with you tomorrow because I've got something exciting tomorrow as well. Hey, hello, hi, good morning guys. So I'm currently on my way to Skopje, which is in North Macedonia. I've booked a tour. Um, there are quite a few of us that are going. It's really early morning start, so I'm not feeling the greatest. 
um but yeah i'm really excited to see another country see what north macedonia has to offer apparently the cultures are really similar um but they do have their own historical differences as well so it'll be good just to check out another city really um and i'll take you along with me so let's go to the fortress and it started raining so I'm gonna head off to the next destination oh it's coming down really hard now and as you can see it stopped raining and yeah <laughs> so yeah I'm just exploring the city some more and I'll show you what else there is to see lunch um, and I'm off to quickly buy some souvenirs I've got 20 minutes before we head back to uh, Bulgaria so yeah the city is really really small but it's been really fun exploring it as well so Please do like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.